What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. If you watched our latest upload, you saw that Jay and I recently traveled up to North Central Arkansas and fished an awesome trout stream and caught a ton of rainbow trout. At the end of that video, we promised we would do a clean and cook video after that, so that is what we are doing today. We've got all the trout that we kept here on the cutting board. We're indoors today. I don't normally clean fish inside because it's kind of messy. Um, but it's really cold, super windy, super nasty outside, so we just decided to clean them in here in the kitchen and try to make not so big of a mess. Uh, luckily for us, trout are a really, really simple fish to clean. They don't make much of a mess anyways. And we're both really excited to prepare them for dinner tonight. So what we're going to do, we're going to show you guys some easy steps to clean rainbow trout and just an easy recipe to cook them that always taste good every time. So let's take a look at the fish. I think in the video I said we kept seven, but we actually kept eight. We have five normal, really nice sized fish. I think that they're 15, 16 inches. I brought a measuring tape so we can see how big these guys are exactly. So that one's about 16 and a half inches. Now there's about 14 and a half, 15 inches. So you get the point. 14 and a half to 16 and a half inch fish. It's a perfect eating sized fish. And then we have three smaller ones. These were victims of swallowed hooks. You know, trout could be kind of fragile, kind of delicate. So we threw them on a stringer too. No big deal. So let's start by cleaning one of these bigger fish. So you guys can get a really good, easy look at how this is done. All you need is a sharp knife, cutting board, and uh, there's only basically, I think there's three steps to cleaning them. The first one is you want to remove the head. You don't even have to remove the head if you don't want to, but I like to remove the head. So we're just going to do a quick cut, chop that head off, boom, I got a little bucket down here, I'm going to throw that in. And then you're going to want to gut your fish. Now to gut it, you're going to slit the belly, you're going to start right here at the vent and just cut all the way to that opening where you just remove the head. So let me turn around here so you guys can see kind of what that looks like. Sticking that vent, slicing that belly open, oh yeah. Now inside they have the guts and it's really easy to remove, it all comes out in one piece. Just grab that, you see how there's kind of like a, a film around them, you just pull them all out. Not going to grow out too much, there's the guts in the bucket. And then on the inside of the trout, you see this little black kind of waistline right there? You're gonna wanna pull all of that out also. And you're just gonna use your finger and you're just gonna pull all of that out. So I'm gonna pick my bucket up so we don't make a mess. All right, so here is my, my gut bucket and I'm just going to rake that black waste out of there. You can use a spoon or like a butter knife or just whatever if you don't want to use your hands, but it's easier just to use your hands. I saw something fly on the kitchen floor. We'll have to clean that up. All right. So that's pretty much all cleaned out. I'm gonna use um, the water hose or the faucet and really wash the rest of that out, but it's all broken free. And that's literally all you have to do to clean a trout. We'll wash it up, make it look a lot better in a moment, but it's good for now. We're gonna continue on and get the rest of these fish clean. I'm just gonna set it in this bucket of water to hold for a little bit. I'm gonna clean the rest of these fish real quick and then we're gonna show you guys an easy and delicious recipe to bake these fish in the oven. So let me get these fish cleaned up. We'll be right back with you. All right, we got all the fish washed up. They're looking really good, looking Ooh, really delicious. Yeah. And now we're gonna show you guys how we prep the fish before we put it in the oven. So we have three main ingredients that we're gonna be working with today. We're gonna keep it simple. We got a lemon, we have an onion, and you gotta have the butter. Oh yeah. So important. And we also have some dry seasonings that we're gonna be using, but these right here are the three main ingredients. So we're gonna cut these up real quick and then we're gonna show you guys how we use them to season the fish. So here we go. put everything together. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put some butter down on the aluminum foil. Now we're going to add our fish on top of the butter and as you can tell we've cut some slashes into the fish and that's just gonna help ensure that all the flavors are gonna get absorbed in the meat. So put that there. And now we're gonna start filling the inside. So I'm gonna put some more butter on the inside because you gotta have lots of butter. Now I'm gonna put some lemons and some onions. Now I'm going to add some more lemons and onions to the top of the fish.
And now to top it off, we're gonna add some dry seasoning. And the seasoning of choice today is, you guessed it, Slap Your Mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always gotta have Slap Your Mama. And there it is, that's it. It's super easy and it's gonna be super delicious. Now all we have to do is put it in the oven. Looks good, Jay. All right, we have it cooking on 400 and we're going to cook it for about 45 minutes. Jay, you did a fantastic job putting that fish together. Now it's time for the hardest part, which is waiting. You have to just wait. And it's gonna start smelling good and we're just gonna have to sit here <laughs> and just wait and wait, but it's gonna be worth it. 45 minutes from now, we're gonna be chowing down some delicious rainbow trout. Y'all see that? It's done. <laughs> An hour later, 45 minutes later, it is done. I'm Jay, a little sleepy. You want to do the honors and pull that sucker oh, sure. out of? I just need my trout oven mitt. <laughs> look at that. Can't beat that. Trout oven mitt. Let's see how those guys look. It smells delicious. I wish y'all were in the house with us right now smelling these trout. Good we'll little cream review. It's hot. Turn this sucker off. What we got? Oh man, that smells so good. Wow, wow, look at that, those lemons just melted. I think that was the butter. <laughs> and the butter, look at that, that trout is in a butter bath. <laughs> look at the steam, look at those onions. That looks phenomenal, we have two of them, we each have our own trout, we didn't show you all putting this one together, but it should look the exact same. That's the one that was on camera. Wow, just wow. Fantastic, okay. I'm starving. We gotta let that cool down a little bit, but, or, or not, or not. We, we, <laughs> we have probably to, should, it's really yeah, hot. You gotta be able to handle it somehow. But we're gonna put this sucker on a plate, show you guys what it looks like out of the foil, and then we're gonna give it the old taste test. I'm jacked. I'm so jacked for this. Look at that. Dinner is served. You just look at that. It's like late lunch. It's like almost. It's we're, like we're three in that, we're in that awkward. We're, yeah, we're in that awkward time phrase where we pass lunch and are early on dinner. As I think we're probably gonna eat dinner too, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. But this is the fish. Look at that. It's just delicious. Oh my gosh. It, it smells, smells so good. So good. I'm ready to we're gonna eat it. we're gonna dive in and give you all a little taste test. We, we're pretty confident it's gonna be good. And if you've ever had trout and you've had it this way, you probably know the feelings we're feeling right now. Um, but yeah, so. Whenever you cook it thoroughly, you can just easily remove the meat from the bones. So we're just gonna do that. Got a little bit on my fork. You got a little bit? Oh, Jay's is flaking off, awesome. Jay's going for a big bite, I'm going for a little bite. Ready? No fork. No fork, <laughs> here we go. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> yep, that is what I expected. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Mm. You got some getting your hair. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm getting fish in your hair. It's still there. Oh, Whoops. Well, we'll leave it, we'll get it later. It's good for it. You can go for another bite, get a bigger bite. Mmm. That was so good. Yeah, but I can dig that. And honestly, the, this this is the fish I would do. I didn't, even, I didn't even put slashes in it. I and mean, it's got a lot of flavor. We had, that was like a big old bath of butter and lemon yeah. juice. It was, it's awesome. So, I'm gonna still have a bite of Jay's and see what hers tastes like, just, just cause. It's gonna be better than yours. Yeah, yeah, cutting slashes is, is definitely ideal. You can tell the difference. Slash, or like poking holes in it. There was a little bit of difference. Hers had a little more flavor, at least that bite did. Anyways, guys, so that was the official taste test. It was really good. Hope you guys enjoyed today's clean and cook video, not a catch and cook. If you want to see the catching of these fish, make sure you go check out the video if you haven't done so already. I will leave that video linked in the video description. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, help our channel grow. And until next time, we're, we're Colin Jay, and we'll see you. On the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.